Hey there. So I thought the first thing I would share is just a set of motions, or at least the concept of uh, motion that I use to release uh, a lot of tissue um, and to gain sensation. So I guess in my head, um, the more you send nervous activity to some region, the more you get blood flow. Um, but to send nervous activity, you need space and you need awareness. And to get awareness, you need nervous activity and space and blood flow. So there's this cycle I'm always trying to um, produce, basically. And so to induce it, uh, I guess I have two scales. I have the micro scale and the macro scale. So let's say I was first thinking about, say, releasing a corner of my wrist or like some um, sprained joint, for example, in the thumb. So partially just to even figure out where it is, I'd have this really tiny motion, right? Maybe even smaller than that. And I would just start to feel that space. And I think of it almost like giving um, random signals. Like I don't know exactly which direction it wants to go. I just want to explore it. And it's also similar. I've gotten um, electrostim ultrasound before. And I just remember the sensations that it created in loosening and, and creating the space. And it's basically, if you think about it, it's just random pulses, right? Nobody has a very specific formula for which pulse and how much and how long and exactly what the shape is. They're just hitting you with all these signals. So you can do the same thing from inside, right? So I start moving it around. And then maybe I start to choose a path a little more clearly and include the next piece of the, the body into it. So I think I want to slide around here and I find a comfortable path, but I don't want to just get stuck and have resistance from the wrist. So I start to move the wrist with it. And sometimes I'll go in the full circle, let's say. Sometimes I'll just go a tiny piece and I'll go back and forth. And so what I'll start to do, I start to feel, instead of just this corner here, I start to feel it open up into this part of my hand. And then I'll be thinking, well, this is going along the front line, so the next sort of uh, path to open up is to the elbow, to the bicep. And so I'll start to include an elbow rotation and maybe slight extension um, and uh, contraction here, right? So now I have, I feel the bicep flexing and pulling the forearm, and I feel this rotation sort of unwrapping and wrapping the spiral. And so I start to think almost like there's this bigger sheet, like maybe it's fascia, maybe it's something else. Um, maybe it's just the fibers of a muscle sliding uh, around each other that I feel. And so I start to open that up more and more. Maybe I'll be breathing with it too, instead of talking. So I be pretty relaxed, opening it more and more, more and more. And then I'll start to include the shoulder. And so I start to now feel longer line, longer line, and I feel this whole space open now. So this now can feel its own space because the rest of it is giving it space and is moving with it. Nothing is holding it. And you know, I might bring that all the way to the face and uh, so on. Um, and so like similarly, if I were to go up the back corner side, I would start, let's say, by wrapping this pinky and its next finger. And I would, like, you know, I've had cysts here and all sorts of stuff from one-handed handstand, leaning on it a lot. So I start wrapping it, wrapping it one way or the other. If it gets stuck somewhere, let's say it got stuck, right? I would say, wait a second, let me see exactly which direction it's stuck, which it's not stuck. Now try to open that up with really tiny motions before opening the whole circle again. So once that got warmed up again, now I have that sensation, now I can start to, again, include more and more. And always I have these like spirals, you know, maybe because the forearm muscles are wrapping like that. And on top of that, I'll have a lot of opening and closing of the hand. It's like the open and the uh, wave and the close are this one cycle. And then a lot of waving of the fingers seems to always help the whole system wind and unwind. So I start to feel this 
all the way to the elbow and I'll make a bigger, bigger motion, feel it up here to the tricep and so on until I feel it in the, into the rib cage, into the traps, into the neck. Um, and if I were to include my face in it, now let's say I want both sides all the way to the neck. Now I'll just start to reach out. I'll start to move my head away slightly. And again, I always open up, like my neck is stuck right now. So I'll, again, do a small motion to open up that space around there to bring some awareness and blood flow. And then start to open it more and more, bigger motions, bigger motions. Um, and so I feel like I can do that with any part of the body, really. If I have ribs inside, I might open small, open small, start to make a bigger motion. Maybe initiate the motion just from like a back contraction, then start to add the arm into it, then start to extend the arm, then maybe uh, hook the leg around this way to wrap around, you know, to get this whole big line. Um, and you can get it through like such minute lines, like through the thumb. I can just do expand or extend, extend, extend until it really goes or just these two fingers. Um, okay, so I'll pause there. So that's the idea of uh, repetitive soft motion and wrapping and unwrapping um, and extending uh, the line of, of openness or the path of openness. And then one other thought that I'll share in this bit is um, how you can get a really uh, sort of strong stretch through what seems to be the fascia um, to get a lot of release uh, through the whole line. So let's say I want to open forearm through here, through here, through face. I'll start with a bent elbow, start with a relaxed hand, and I'll start to extend slightly and slightly open my hand. And eventually what I'm going to be going for is pulling the fascia relaxed long until I pull my fingers back to clamp it and then I stretch out with this clamp point here and I pull my shoulder away from my hand and my hand away from my shoulder as I open more and more and it starts to get really intense and I feel this sort of opening up and I feel this opening up and so always you start small try not to do it too hard at first because you can actually cramp up or have like a little spasm in any one of these points because it can get so intense but you find a really good point maybe 80 or 90% in intensity, then you can inhale, breathe, and let it go. Let the arm raise with the ribs. Exhale, let the arm fall with the ribs. Let the head sink a little bit. Don't make any drastic motions with the head. And then you can also start unwrapping as you stretch. Inhale, pull the fingers back and down as the bicep goes up and the palm goes away and the shoulders come forward. Then exhale, and you can wrap to the back side. You curl the chest, you pull the fingers the other way, and you wrap all the way around the back, tucking the chin. And then to wrap, so this really opens up from the front side and through this opening here, but you can clamp the fascia around the back too. So for example, if I curl my fingers in as if I'm trying to get my fingers to my palm, Right? And I again reach away but keep my shoulder going away from the hand. As I curl the hand more and more and keep reaching and start to straighten the arm, not by hyperextending but just by extending, then I feel a gnarly stretch over the back. Once you're in one of these stretches, start to take your breaths. You can really vocalize the breath, really let it out. And you start to feel, if you turn your fists up a little bit, you'll stretch around here. Just turn the fist down, you'll stretch over here. But either way, it'll be a gnarly stretch. And you can do both of these with the, um, both hands at the same time. You can alternate them like that. You just get these really, really long, amazing lines. And you can clamp these at all these different places. So like I showed with the thumb, the thumb has this really crazy line up here. The pinky will give you another line. If you take these two fingers, wrap the middle over the index, 
and then point it down, you'll clamp along here and get another amazing line. So all of these uh, methods, I feel like, really start to give you all this awareness and give you some uh, beautiful stretches that you can just um, explore and use to help injury, to find injury, to hurt injury if you're uh, pulling too hard in the wrong place. Um, and I find them, the intense ones most effective after really rigorous or exercise or like long holds or long handstands or things like that and everything will start to melt off. And if you do, um, if you're just starting something or you're feeling pretty stiff and it's like morning, that's what I think these very soft motions are good for. Even with just the neck, you can do a small, really small motion, chin up, chin down, quarter circle, really relax, really letting everything just drop and hang, quarter circle, inhaling when you go up, Exhaling when you go down, slightly opening the chest when you go up, slightly closing the chest when you go down. Now all this gentleness, slightly rotating the shoulder a piece of the way, slightly rotating back, slightly opening the hand, moving the elbow forward, slightly pulling back to melt off the scapulae. So all of these are sort of in this one big concept of just lubricating a path through small motion and adding all of this nervous activity and circulation to it to help open it up and help to point out how it opens to everything else and how it gets stuck in these um, micro regions. Okay, that was an 11 minute rant, but hopefully there's something good in there.